Hey everyone, Tina from Target Team is here and I'm covering the Maven B1.2 10x42 binocular. I've been out field testing with it and I can recommend this for everything but especially hunting. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so the new binocular is not the only thing that's new to Maven this year. I've noticed that they have redesigned their packaging. So it still comes with the Maven box sleeve that has remained consistent, but they've done away with the fancy box and have now come with a, what I think is an ugly brown plain box, but there is a purpose to this design. And it's actually form fitted to hold the packaging while the binocular and the included accessories are safe during shipping. So that there's no accidents of any lenses breaking or things getting scratched up or knocked around stuff like that so it does come like this the box as you can see I've already opened it the everything comes individually bagged and the binocular comes in the microfiber drawstring bag that fits into here then you have the lens cloth and instructional pamphlet and the uh, neck strap which is in its own packaging and sits right in there so that's new this year is the new box you will be able to tell the difference between the older b1s and the new b1.2s and that's because the b1.2s have a new completely new mold now physically we can see that there are changes to the focus knob and the diopter and also the shape so first off i want to say that i feel like maven really listened a sore point for me has always been the stiffness of the diopter and before they had extruded uh no recessed knurling on the inside so while it's always been stiff to use and the new one is still pretty stiff too it's much easier to use now because i don't know if you can hear this there it's got extruded knurling on it really grippy which makes the diopter a lot easier to move and turn because you can grab it this is really good news for especially those who wear gloves they're gonna like that feature it makes it a lot easier to make adjustments there now a physical integrity has remained the same between the old model and the new model completely in nitrogen purge so it's fog proof ipx7 rated completely waterproof fully rubber armored uh, magnesium chassis on the inside so really still high quality build integrity right there you can also see that they've redone the uh, stroop stroop st strap loops i don't know that it makes it any easier but i like that they're wider um, and they're silver too now so i think i like those as well now we've also got upgrades to the optics and that's what gives it its really awesome phenomenal uh, performance we still have ed glass in the objective lenses uh, the scratch and oil resistant coating on the objective lenses uh, we've also got the multi-position eye cups but more to the optics we've got wide angle schmidt pachan prisms on the inside now this gives you an extra i think it's an extra 21 feet in the field of view which brings it up to i want to say 362 yards at a thousand feet 6.6 .6 angular field of view so we've got a huge upgrade there we've also got a huge light transmission rate boost so these are extremely bright and clear now that is something that could be also um thanks to the dielectric coatings on the schmidt pachan prisms as all roof prisms need they need the phase correction coatings to minimize that light loss within the optical path and these have it now the uh, b1.2s are extremely bright and i can say that because i took them out um, just for wildlife observation at low light and beyond and i was able to see clearly a herd of elk out at 1400 yards now that was pretty impressive because i was also glassing you know you know the sun had set and there was a little bit of light left out and as you can see from my photos and films the camera had trouble of remaining focused and with the the limited use of of light um, i was hard to get to show the detail that i was seeing through the binoculars but absolutely crisp i mean edge to edge quality edge to edge clarity high resolution super bright now even my camera when i'm taking um, photos you know for context for you they seem super bright but i can tell you it's a lot darker in real time 
So what is the B1.2 going to be good for? It's going to be really good for our law enforcement. Keep in mind it does have the 10 times magnification. You might decide that that might be a little bit too much or maybe not enough, we'll but it gets some distance um, range out there and really good for even daytime and nighttime observation, especially if you're, in, if you're in urban areas with that artificial light, you can keep some distance and stay covert and still observe uh, what is going on. So uh, really excellent for all sorts of hunting applications, elk hunting as I went out to go field test, uh, really good also for waterfowl hunting. You know, I live up in the high desert, high mountainous area. So we've got tons of mountains. We've got everything from thick timber all the way out to open plains. So, and I found the 10 times absolutely more than adequate for my needs. Yes, you will have to get on closer. Even if you um, do want to take those long shots you will definitely need a rifle scope that can keep up especially when your binoculars able to provide the performance that it can so if you are into long range shooting or long range hunting definitely upgrade your rifle scope if you're going to go upgrade your binoculars so obviously it's going to be a great and more than adequate pair for all those recreational purposes like camping and hiking and backpacking, um, even boating. You know, it's going to be great for those sorts of applications. Now priced at approximately $900, that's what the old B-Line was going for. It might be overkill just for those recreational purposes, but excellent if you're, if you're using them mainly for, you know, your big, big activities like hunting or uh, bird watching, you will you would be able to use the B1.2s for all your sorts of general purpose use and justify the cost that way. Now, Maven could have set the price point higher for the B1.2s considering that they offer more than the B1s did, but they didn't take advantage that way. And I see that as uh, you know, a step of integrity towards their a business strategy, which is direct to consumer selling from one hunter to another. So I would definitely uh, give them thumbs up for that. The tripod cap now. There you go. It's small, aesthetically pleasing. And this is on the C3, which all the older models had this style of tripod cap, a lot bigger. But, you know, it was somewhat easier to be able to loosen and tighten just because of its bigger size. And it comes up over the edge of the bottom here. So you are able to loosen it and tighten it that way on the older models now the newer model the b1.2 which is the same on the b6 it's a lot smaller and a lot tougher to grab and i've got smaller fingers so if you have big fingers well the only thing i can say to you is good luck To be fair though, the only time I'm messing with the tripod cap is when I'm mounting it for digiscoping. And digiscoping, I will call it an art form because it's really hard. The optical performance of this is absolutely phenomenal. So I've taken these out at low light, um, in dark conditions, and I've been very, very impressed. There is one word for the experience of using the B1.2s and that is wow. So I've mentioned quite a few uh, Maven binoculars in this video. I get a rundown on, on those binoculars that I mentioned. Check out the Maven binocular comparison guide. I'll throw that in a link in the description below. The write-up review to the new B1.2 binoculars also down below in a link. So as always guys, like, subscribe and get outside.